speaking to attentive Toot Shore. And there's the current heavyweight champion, Jersey Joe Walcott, and J. Edgar Hoover, Stuart Symington on his left. Rocky Marciano meets Joe Lewis at the center of the ring for last minute instructions by referee Ruby Goldstein. And in a moment, round one of a scheduled 10 round bout. Joe Lewis, balding and bulky, eagerly answers the bell. The big question tonight, can the ex-champion come back? He's the slight favorite. Rocky maneuvers Lewis to the ropes and lands a right to the jaw in the opening seconds of round one. Lewis seeking to beat Marciano and thus regain the role of leading contender for the heavyweight crown. Marciano going for his 38th straight win, his 33rd by knockout. Lewis working behind his left jab. Marciano about to loop an overhand right. That's the punch you saw Rocky demonstrate in training, remember? Now you'll throw another, a sweeping overhand right that misses. Marciano's right is his most damaging weapon. Rocky bobbing and weaving a bit. In his later fights, he uses a crouch more pronounced than the one you'll see him use tonight. Marciano, by far the lighter man, is pressuring Lewis. Watch him and you'll see him pounding to Lewis' body, pounding with his right at short range before the ex-champion ties him up. Again, Marciano bullies Lewis to the ropes, trying to free his right hand. Rocky is devastating when he pins his man against the strands, a fact borne out time and time again in subsequent fights. Lewis, another hard right-hand hitter, has caught many a rival against the ropes himself over the years. He's had 70 professional fights. For the third time in the round, Marciano forces Lewis to the ropes. He fires to the body and gets in a left uppercut. Lewis tries to punch his way free, but at the end of round one, it's a good Marciano round. Trainer Manny Seaman whispers last minute instructions to Joe Lewis as he answers the bell for round two and catches a winging left hook from Rocky Marciano. Once more, Lewis finds his back to the ropes. Rocky forced him to the strand three times in the first round. And here he is, still bullying the ex-champion. Marciano likes to pin his man back, then go to work on the head and body. Rocky, about to miss a right, lands a hard left hook to the head. He's pressuring, gunning for a shot at the heavyweight title. Did you see how quickly he recovered after the miss? Marciano bobbing and weaving. He hasn't as yet perfected that attacking crouch for which he later becomes famous. A sweeping right by Marciano misses and strikes the rope with such an impact they quiver for moments afterward. Lewis back to a corner. Joe Lewis, generally recognized as one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all time, finds himself bullied, crowded, pressured by a smaller, lighter, but harder-hitting Marciano. 
Rocky won the first round. He's been constantly the aggressor here in round two. Here comes a hard left, right, left by Marciano. Working on the body with his man pinned to the ropes. Rocky gets in a solid winging right to the head. You can see that Lewis feels those punches. Rocky's really pouring it on. Lewis, you remember, became champion of the world by knocking out Jim Braddock in 1937. He successfully defended the crown 25 times before he gave it up in 1949. Up till then, he had been defeated only once by Max Schmeling. But when he tried to regain the crown in 1950, he was outpointed by Ezra Charles, and he faded in subsequent fights with Cesar Brion, Emilio Agramonte, and Jimmy Bivens. Lewis twice outpointed Brion and expected Marciano to be no tougher. A winging right raises Lewis's jaw. Marciano goes to work on the body at the end of round two. A big round for Rocky. Joe Lewis in dark trunks knows he's behind as he answers the bell for round three. The reflexes of this 37 and a half year old ex-champion seem to be rusted through. And some observers at ringside have even been predicting an early knockout. But now you'll see some of the old bomber coming back. You'll see him using his once famous left jab, the punch he always used to set up his barrages. 17,000 fans in Madison Square Garden are wondering if the ex-champion can stage a comeback. Remember, Lewis is the slight favorite tonight. Win or lose, he collects $94,000, a big hunk of which goes to Uncle Sam for back taxes. Marciano gets 50000 Rocky pushes Lewis away. He's looking for an opening for that right-hand bomb of his. Lewis, too, has always been a hard right-hand hitter. Lewis pawing with his left. He wants to keep this Marciano away from him. He wants to move in to stalk. Lewis, you remember, was always the master stalker. Now, here he is, being pressured himself. Rocky misses a sweeping right. Keep watching and you'll see him duck straight into a left hook by Lewis. Once before, Joe hurt his left hand in a fight with Jimmy Bivens. It was damaged again here in the third round. But we're going to see the bomber throwing that left jab again and again in the rounds to come. It's the only weapon he still commands completely. For the first time in the round, Joe Lewis finds his back to the rope. But you see him move out of there and circle around to get back to mid-ring. Lewis moving a little better in this round. But again, he's back to the ropes, where Marciano fails to land effectively. Those long lefts by Lewis are meant to keep Marciano away and to set him up for a hard right or a barrage. Apparently, those jabs by Lewis are beginning to bother Marciano. The Brockton strong boy will miss some sweeping blows. First, a right. Now, another right. And a left. Another right. And finally, the punch, now winding up in right field, a roundhouse right. Lewis again on the ropes in the final seconds of round three, a frame we'll call even. Rocky Marciano in white trunks answers the bell for round four of a scheduled ten-round bout. Watch him throw a left and catch a left to the face by Lewis. Joe keeps working that left, the only weapon proving effective for him tonight. Here we have a great champion on his way down, meeting a blockbusting youngster on his way up. 
the winner eventually to take a crack at the heavyweight crown. Rounds one and two went to Marciano, but we saw Joe Lewis coming back stronger in the third, and he's going to do even better here in the fourth. Lewis keeps flicking in that left jab. Joe seems unable to put together those famous barrages of his. Barrages that so far have mowed down 56 rivals. In rounds one and two, we saw Marciano using an overhand right. Now watch this one by Lewis that glances off Rocky's back. Ordinarily, that punch is used by a shorter man against his taller rival. Yet we've already seen that Lewis has three inches on Marciano in height and nine inches in reach. For most of the round, they slug away at close range, with both men trying a number of uppercuts. Here comes a right uppercut by Marciano. It fell short. He tries another before Lewis ties him up. Marciano's nose is starting to bleed. Rocky about to wing a right that misses. And if you keep watching, you'll see him miss again with a hard right uppercut. He's missing a great deal, as you can see. And now Marciano seems unable to bully Joe around the ring. Joe's making his best showing of the fight so far. Just a few seconds remaining in round four, a round awarded by all three ring officials to ex-champion Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis, in dark trunks, leaves his corner with a bounce, as though having caught his second win. Neatly, he blocks the left hook by Marciano and uses his left jab to make Rocky miss with his right. Watch. Joe won the last round, and he seems completely confident here in the fifth. So far, he's been doing little damage with his once-celebrated right hand and has been relying heavily upon his jab. There's that jab to the face by Lewis. From the very start, Marciano has been doing the crowding, taking the play from Lewis, who once was the stalker himself. A right to the body, then a shove, sends Lewis to the ropes. Joe's left jab is keeping Rocky off target a great deal in these last two rounds. And yet Lewis claimed later he had injured his left hand in the third round. At this stage of the fight, it seemed to many ringsiders that the ex-champion might pull it out by courage and heart alone, backed up by that effective left jab. It seemed as though the man once famous for his stalking methods, his blazing barrages, might succeed in outboxing the cruder, less polished Marciano. Lewis using a wider stance now. He's becoming a little more flat-footed. This has been a good round for Joe, but here we see telltale signs that the ex-champion is tiring. Still, he's moving pretty well and manipulating that left.
Lewis pushes Marciano away. He's tired of being crowded by the bobbing, weaving, unorthodox aggressor. Lewis lands a left jab, followed by a left hook. Both good punches. There's a cut now under Rocky's right eye. And his nose is bleeding again. It was bleeding in the fourth. Here comes the end of round five. The second in a row awarded unanimously to Joe Lewis. In round six, Marciano once again took command, just as we'll see him do here in round seven. As early as the fifth round, we saw Lewis tiring. And now here he is, becoming still more flat-footed. The elasticity gone from his leg. Lewis has won his last round. When Marciano sends in a left to the body, watch Lewis return a counter right. So far, that right has caused little real damage. A winging right by Marciano misses the target. But as Lewis sticks out his jab, you'll see him catch a right, then a left, driving him to the rope. Here comes another right. Lewis, in dark trunks, has been trying to fire a barrage to the body, one of his most devastating maneuvers when he was in his prime. But so far, his legs and slower reflexes have made barrages impossible. Joe is far too busy dodging Marciano's savage wallop. The Lewis we're seeing tonight has but a faint resemblance to the great Brown Bomber who ruled the heavyweight roost for nearly 12 years. Another sweeping right by Rocky misses. Remember, Marciano was on his way up at this time and not even his fans were fully aware of the power in that right. Neither was Rocky. Marciano trying uppercuts, crowding Lewis toward the ropes. Rocky hooks to the head and forces Lewis to the adjacent strands. Lewis attempting to cover. He's definitely on the defensive. Lewis fighting back inside, but throwing fewer punches than Marciano. Again, Lewis is forced to the ropes. He fights his way off, but the end is near. Round seven awarded unanimously to Marciano. At the bell, they come out slugging for round eight. Rocky pressuring right from the start, as though determined to end the fight in this round. And as things turned out, that's just the way it happened. Let's watch closely now and see exactly how Marciano knocked out one of the greatest champions the ring has ever known. Rocky's crowding leaves little room for Lewis to punch. Marciano's short arms, normally a handicap, actually are an advantage at close range because he generates terrific power. It's a matter of leverage, properly applied. Here comes that big right we've seen Marciano using throughout the fight. It connects with Joe's ear. Keep watching for that punch. That's the one that spells finish for Lewis. Lewis jabbing, but it's purely defensive. He's flat-footed, tired, 
as he's driven back to the ropes, a favorite maneuver of Marciano, one he's been using to good advantage throughout the fight. Marciano exerting more and more pressure as he moves in for the kill. Rocky about to glance a right off Lewis Jaw and see how quickly he moves in, giving Joe no time at all to catch his breath. Now watch this. Marciano's hard left hook sends Lewis sprawling to the canvas. Referee Ruby Goldstein counts to eight before Lewis gets back to his feet. Rocky tears in to follow through his advantage before Lewis ties him up. You can see that Lewis is in trouble. He's hurt. Marciano, pitching with everything he's got, backs his man to the rope to finish him off. Now watch. A left. Another left crumples Lewis. A blazing right. And Lewis sails through the rope. The working press try to help Joe back off the ring apron. Referee Goldstein on the left simply looks at the stricken fighter and knows that the ex-champion is finished for the night. Kneeling in the dark suit is Dr. Vincent Nardiello. Lewis is out. Brought down by a power pack right to the jaw at 2 minutes 36 seconds of the 8th round. This is the second time in his career he was knocked out. And the first since Max Schmeling did it in 1936. Rocky is congratulated by trainer Charlie Goldman on the left and by his old time friend Ali Colombo. Lewis fought only exhibitions after that. As he himself summed up his knockout by Marciano, the reactions were not there. My age counted against me. The Brown Bomber fell October 26, 1951 in the big fight.